shoulders forward, nice big circles. Good, and backwards. So all pulling, working the posterior chain, okay? We're working the upper back, the lower back, the hamstrings, all the pulling movements. Rolling the shoulders backwards. Good, okay, forward and back then. Good, and then into hip rotation, so feet, nice wide stance now with those feet, about hip width apart, let's rotate the hips, so wrong and wrong, nice big circles. Good, and then the other way. Nice big circles again. That's it, and rotate the arms forward now. Around we go. So a nice steady session today, not so much on the heart and lungs but nice focus, resistance work. Or you'll probably take the heart, up, heart rate up and the lungs to get working a bit more for the finisher. And back we go. Good, okay, into squats now then. Let's sit right back in those squats and up we come. Nice and tall. Push those hips into place. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Good. A couple more. One and two. Okay, nice wide stance now. We're just going to go side to side, up to the middle and down. Just open up those feet nice and wide, open up those hips. Good, a couple more, one on this side, one on this side, and then in we come. Feet a little bit closer together now, just about hip width apart. Okay, we're going to reach for the ground, nice straight legs. Feel it open up through the lower back, through the hamstrings, and then we can reach up to the sky. Good, then back down we go. Hold it there, and then up we go to the sky. Good. Good guys, add up. We'll do a couple more. Good, then up, one more. Good, and up, okay, jog on the spot. Good, I'm feeling the heat of the foot That's it, and toes up to the front. Good, and then knees up. And then let's punch up. Good, we've got to take that hard enough to get this, get this pulse raising in there to get our body ready to work up to the sky. And then out to the front, down to the ground, and then into jacks.
Good. And hands to the front. Good. On the toes. And relax there. Good. Good job. I'm oh, loving your tunes. Fingers crossed. This won't get moved later. Okay, so the main part of the session. We've got upright rows, so assume upright row. That's two hands. Over, we'll, we'll sit nice and low with the weight between the feet. They come up to the chin, okay? We'll do a set of 12 with that weight. I'll demo them shortly. Then we're going to cleans, alternate cleans. So with your watch, let's flip it around. Or if it's not recording your workout, take it off. Just so it doesn't get caught by the kettlebell, if you're using the kettlebell, on the face of the watch, okay? So we're going clean, side to side, one, two, and it's 12 each side, so we don't want to count to 24. So the hips and the legs will be working for 24, but the actual clean will be 12 each side, okay? Then we go for deadlifts, so nice straight legs, in about hip width apart of the outside of the feet, yeah, nice and straight, and deadlift and coming down. Maybe a hand deadlift if you can't quite touch the floor, but the hinge on the hips there, and the back stays nice and flat, okay? So straight down to the toes, and then back up to the weight being close to the body. And then number four, bent over row, okay, alternate. So we bend, nice wide stance, yeah, we bend, and then we alternate row one side to the ground, other side. We gotta hold that posture down through the spine, okay? Hold it nice and flat. So let me demo this properly. Kettlebell, sumo upright row. Nice wide stance from the weight, right between the feet, hands both in the handle, and then up we come. We drive the hips forward, and then we raise the elbows and bring the handle up to the chin, okay? We'll be going for 12 of those. Same with the dumbbell. You can hold the dumbbell in between the handle there and go up, okay? You do have to sit a little bit lower with the dumbbell because the handle is obviously down at wrong level or just above wrong level. Second exercise, cleans, side to side. So with the kettlebell, we come up. One, down, change hands. Two, and we'll be going for 24 altogether, okay? Make sure with the kettlebell we get the fist right in to the centre of the body, elbow in tight, okay, into that position at the top. With the dumbbell, we come in and it's just to there. One, change side, two, okay. Number three, deadlift. So from the front, the weight is right between the feet, the feet are in close, we just come there, it's easier with the kettlebell to get a touch on the ground because like I say the handle is higher. We go from there, we come up, one, two, okay, from the side. Nice flat back, hold the posture, keep the chin up, and we go in there. If you can't quite reach the floor, then don't worry about it, just hang as close as you can and we come back in. Let's make sure we get a squeeze on the glutes at the top and push the hips right into place. Deadlift for the dumbbell, same grip as we did for the upright row. Nice straight legs, okay, but hand this time if you can't go all the way down. You will have to go further with the dumbbell to touch the ground because, like I said, that handle is closer to the ground. So there. Okay, nice straight legs on those deadlifts, working the hamstrings and the hips and the glutes. Okay, number four, bent over row, alternate. This is the last one. Handle facing forward. Okay, just in front of the body, about a foot away. Yep, and we bend over so the shoulders and the chest are right above that handle. Keep that alignment again. Hips go back. You can slightly bend the knees on this one, and the shoulder comes forward at the same ratio so we keep that back flat. And from there, it's one, two, okay? And we will be doing 24 because it's 12 each side. So from the side, handle facing away, 
bend hinge in the hip. One, two, okay? With the dumbbell, you might have to hang it and change hands in the air. Just like this. Okay, so it's there. Row, change, row. Okay? If you can't quite reach because, as you know, that handle is closer to the ground. So everyone ready? We're going for a round 12. On the alternates, remember, we do 24, 12 each side. Take a break, short break between each round, then a round of 10, then a break, then a round of eight, okay? So let's all get ready, get the weight into position, grab a drink if you need to, and turn the music up a little bit. Okay, all ready to go guys. Nice full session now. So work in the hamstrings, work in the back, right down through that posterior chain, okay, right down the back. Remember we hold the posture all the way through so we don't compromise the back position, don't compromise that spine, okay? The spine is strong when it's got those four curves, those four natural curves. Let's not oppose them. Yeah. So let's go for upright row. Same upright row first for 12. So nice wide stance now, sit like a sumo, grab your, your weight by the handle, the kettlebell or the dumbbell, and then up we go, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nice and high, sit low, ten, two more. 11 and 12. Good. Okay, there's our 12. Now we're going for clean. So grab a drink if you need to. Take a little break, a little shake off. And let's go for those cleans. Alternate. So a little bit longer on these because we're doing 12 each side straight through. Back and forth, right, left, and back again. Okay, you're still ready. And off we go. One, two, three. Come into 24, remember. Four. Drag those hips. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, keep them going now, 14, 15, good, 16, that's it, 17, 18, big pull, 19, nice and tall, 20, two more each side, Run it guys, finish it. One, two, last two, one, and two. Good, good job. Clean, really good exercise to clean. You go nice and heavy as you build up the technique, build up the form. A really good exercise for the whole body, really. Not doing any pushing, but that clean the shoulder. Whether it be kettlebell, barbell, dumbbell, any kind of weight, any of the ways weight you've got, it's a really good exercise. Okay. Deadlifts. Deadlifts, okay, kettlebell, remember you can test the floor a little bit easier than you can with the dumbbell. Let's go for 12 deadlifts. So feet, both hip width apart. The little toes on the inside of the hips. You reach, nice straight legs. Ready, so take hold of your weight. Hold that alignment through the spine. And then off the go. One, two, sit right back now. Three, four, five, six. 
Seven, nice one from the side. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. And twelve. Good. Good, they've got that may not seem like it's a taxing exercise if you've got, especially if you've got to like the way deadlifts is probably the exercise that we should be capable of lifting the most of any exercise we can do, okay? The world record deadlift compared to any other exercise is the highest, yeah? So, on a personal level, the deadlift should be the exercise that we can lift the most with. So that one may not be taxing, but it certainly gets the body moving in the right way, yeah? Get your technique and then you can work up the big weights later. So let's go for bent over rows, yeah? So let's turn the handle. Remember, it's slightly in front, so we've got to bend over it with the chest and the shoulders above the weight. Sit back, slightly bend the knees, and we go in for 24, 12 each side, ready, and off we go. One, hold the back in the same position. Two, just pulling the elbows in tight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Try not to press with the opposite hand on the other leg. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, come on guys, let's push, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, two more, 23 and 24. Good. Round one done. Round one done, everyone. Take a break and then we're going to round two, which is 10 of each or 20 on the alternates. Yep. Every session doesn't have to be manic, does it? Okay, ready for the upright rows. Round two, 10 of each. Okay, 10 of each, upright rows. First, sumo squat to start. Grab all your weight down and let's sit into it, ready. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, good job. Brilliant, guys. Let's go for cleans now. Please grab a drink if you need to between. We're going for ten cleans each side, okay? So 20 total. So let's get ready to go then. Handle across the way, in between the feet. So let's take a grip of that first hand. I'm starting with my right. Ready? And dry, clean. One. Other side. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Come on, guys. Three on each side to go. 15, 16, 17, 18, one each, pull, 19, and 
20. Good. Good job. There's our 20. Good. Deadlifts next. Have a breather. Have a drink. Okay, guys, ready for deadlift? Remember, nice straight legs. In a little bit closer, weight right between the feet. Yeah. And let's get ready for the deadlift then. Let's reach down, hips back, and stand tall. Up we go. One, two, three at the top. Push the hips forward, shoulders back. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, good job. Let our deadlift. Okay, bend your rows. Ten each side. Everyone ready for this one? We go straight for this one, yeah? Deadlift is okay. But it's good to get that movement. If you've got more weights, so though, add them. If you've got two dumbbells, two kettlebells, add them both. I forgot to mention that. Okay, and you can go for both of them. Maybe you already did. Bend over rows. Let's turn that handle. Step back slightly. Hinge of the hips. Just like the swing. We come over. Hold that alignment through the spine. Ready and grip. Off we go. One. Two. Remember we're going for 20. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, good, good, there's our rows, so we've got one more round, take a break, one more round with 8, and 16 is for the alternates, okay, let's get ready, upright rows, 4, sorry, 8 this one, last round, 8, yep, and 16s. Ready for the upright rows. Off we go for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Relax there. Great job. So cleans, alternate. Everyone ready? I don't want to get you too low, just keep it at that level. Okay, clean, don't it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Drive those hips in now, get that weight all the way in before we go back down. Seven, eight, big pull, halfway there. Nine, 10, 11, 12, four more, 13, 14, 15, and last one, 16. Good, good job everyone, great work. Deadlifts coming up next. Take a breather. Deadlifts, remember that alignment? Feet in a little bit closer, straight legs, hips, sit back, hold. That back posture, then strict 
deadlift this, deadlift with a straight leg. So we're ready to go. Up we come. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. And release. Nice and strong. Good. So last set. Last set, okay? Bend all rows. Eight each side. So if you take the drink, have a wipe. Let's get ready for the bend all row. Side to side. Nice wide stance. Step back a little bit. Hinge the hips, bend the knees, reach right over that weight, so it's right below the middle of the chest, so you're reaching down below the shoulders, and off we go. One, two, three, remember we're going for 16, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and one more, 16. Good job, everyone. That's it. That's that main round done, okay? Your set of pulls. All kinds of pulls. Okay, okay, take a minute or two, and then I'll go through the finisher. So the finisher you're gonna need, your mat nice and long. Uh, you're gonna be at one end, I'm not at the side, you're gonna be at one end because we're doing a walk or push up at the end of this flow, okay? It's a kettlebell or dumbbell flow, yeah, and then we finish with a push up on each one, okay, a walk or push up. So how it's going to work, upright row for four, like we just did, upright row for four. Then we hold the weight in the chest, we do a goblet squat for three. Once we've done the goblet squat, we do an uh, overhead and, uh, and, and our overhead press. We do an overhead press for, for two, and then we do a walk out, push up, into and push up, back in, then we start again. We're going for eight rounds. Okay, eight rounds for time. So as quick as you can, no cheating the exercises, get them nice and full, start to finish right through the full range of motion for each one. Remember, once you've done the up, upright rows, the weight stays there for the squats and then the overhead press, yeah? And then we drop the weight for the push-up. So let me show you, I'll show you the four exercises first, or the first three, and then the walk-up push-up is going to be from the end of the mat. I'll show you from front on. So upright row for four. So we do one, two, three, four. We keep the weight there. We do one, two, three squat. We do one, two, overhead press. Imagine I was at the end of the mat to start. I put the weight down. I walk out. I push up. I come back in. I start again. Yeah? Upright row, same with the dumbbell, with the dumbbell, those exercises, the upright rows, yeah, one, two, once you've done four, you hold it up, you can flip it around, do three goblet squats, once you've done those, you can press, or you can hold it this way for the squat, and then press for two, put it down, walk out, push up, okay, you may already start it. Eight rounds for time. Four upright rows, three squats, two presses, walk out, push up for one, back in, start again. Yeah? So, when you're ready, guys, off you go. Let's get the eight rounds done. Okay, upright rows for four. I'm going to start now. So, off we go. Four upright rows, three squats, two presses. 
Weight to the ground, walk out. Push up. Walk in. Upright row. There's one round. Four upright rows. Three squats. Two presses. Back to the ground. There's two. One. Two. Four upright rows. Three squats. Two presses. And down. Walk out. Push up. There's number three. Good guys, keep on going now. Push yourselves. Okay, I'm halfway. Keep them going now. Four point rows. Oop, four. Push up. There's number five for me. Dig in now guys, get tougher. As you can feel. And number six, two to go. For me, you may have already been done. seated exercises or seated stretches, soles of the feet into the ground or into each other, then sit up nice and tall, drop the knees and bring the shoulders back, good job guys, so nice steady first main round, yeah but lots of strength to it, how hard you work, Depends on the resistance you put on yourselves, okay? So it depends on the weights you have. If you've got the form and you can get hold of the weight, then go heavier when you can to get those repetitions. And you're looking to try and, if you've got the option, you're looking to have a weight where you can almost fail to the last two. Almost fail to the last two, yeah? So for the 12, for example, we get a 10 and it's a real struggle to get those last two in. Now you can really feel it, yeah? That's what we're aiming for. But if you haven't got those kind of weights available at hand at home, then that's fine. Go for the heaviest you possibly can do with what you've got. Because no one ever said that was a shit workout, regardless of the weight you used. Okay, from there, extend the toes forward. Close to the sky, press the knees into the ground and reach the chest forward, reach the hands forward to the ankles or the toes and then let's bring the head down, bring the chin into the chest.
Good, okay, from there, let's flip over to the hands and knees, knees below the hips, hands below the shoulders, let's drop the belly down, bring the chin up and the bum out, belly button towards the ground. Good. And then spine to the sky, hips forward, chin into the chest. Good. Then from there, up to the hands, up to the toes. Let's walk the hands in now. Keep those hamstrings long. Hands onto the ground. Good work, everyone. Roll the body up now. Up we come. And bring the shoulders back. Good. Let's roll the shoulders forward. And backwards. Good work everyone, great session for today, thank you all for joining.